Bastian, were Ferrari being a little bit too greedy in the end, do you think? No. So you were happy with the decision and you wanted to stay out? You could have got to the end, you felt? Well, how many laps I was missing? Not many. And things like that are not allowed to happen, full stop. If it happens 200 meter earlier, I'm not standing here now. I'm with 300 stuck in Urush, so I don't know what else needs to happen. Uh, yeah. So in that case, so you're obviously upset that the, the tire went in that way, but you'd run it for 27. I don't know what is upsetting? Upsetting is that one thing is the result. You know, this is racing for sure. You know, we we deserve to finish on the podium. But the other thing, as I said, if this happens earlier, then you know, I don't. I think it's a sort of theme that keeps going around. Nobody's mentioning it, but it's unacceptable. You were one of the drivers who stated your concerns to Charlie Whiting on Friday in the driver's briefing. Was that taken seriously? Well, I think it was, but what's the answer? Same as uh, every time. Yeah, well, there was a cut, debris, uh, the, the, the maybe something wrong with the bodywork, the driver went wide. If Nico s tells us that he didn't go off the track, he didn't go off the track. I mean, why should he lie to us? It's, uh, same with me, I didn't go off the track. It's just out of the blue, the tire explodes. And as I said, as I said if this happens earlier, then But you drivers must be the ones in the power seat. So what do you do now before Monza? Now I think we need to speak to each other. Uh, it's probably not as bad as it was in Silverstone some years ago, but it's not acceptable. Thank you.